نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم We begin with Allah's blessed name We praise him and we glorify him as he ought to be praised and glorified And we pray for peace and for blessings on all his noble messengers And in particular on the last of them all, the blessed Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam As we greet you there in Britain From this my sitting room in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia With the greeting of peace Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu To all of you present and to all the presenters And in particular to Ken O'Keefe uh, Who I was honored to meet Uh, to meet with for the first time at a conference in uh, Iran just uh, a week ago uh, Welcome Ken to our gathering And I'm certain that you will be comfortable with us as we are comfortable with you Our subject uh, is the strategic importance of Islamic eschatology uh, in this modern age Uh, and uh, we begin by, of course, defining very briefly Eschatology is the study of the end time We in the world of religion hold to the view that history is not eternal Others may hold that view, but not us That history had a beginning and history will have an end And the beginning was determined by he who is the Lord and God of us all And the end is determined by him as well But before The end comes, there are certain momentous events which will occur There are certain great trials which mankind will have to undergo And the prophets of Allah, Allah's blessings be upon them all Spoke extensively about that last age And that is eschatology How important it is for us Muslims Well, we know Of that amazing incident in the life of Prophet Muhammad Allah's blessings be upon him Just before his death When the angel Gabriel alayhi salam Came in the form of a human being Before a huge gathering in public This is the first time in history such a thing ever happened And he asked the Prophet alayhi salatu salam Five questions And uh, these questions led to Ilmu Akhir Zaman or eschatology Why did Allah send the angel Gabriel alayhi salam In this dramatic, unforgettable way Just before the death of the Prophet alayhi salatu salam To teach us and to speak to us about eschatology uh, Why else but because this is a subject of paramount importance Abiding importance And at this time Of critical importance We cannot understand History Since the time of the Prophet Most of history Cannot be properly read And understood without eschatology We cannot penetrate The reality of the world today The mysterious reality of the world today Without eschatology And we cannot Anticipate momentous events which lie ahead of us Some of which just around the corner Without eschatology There are those critics of ours who say only Allah knows the future We also say the same But if Allah chooses to communicate And communicate sometimes by signs which have to be inter to interpreted And they cannot interpret And they object to our interpreting them Well we say to them Brothers We don't have time to waste with you We are moving on How important it is to understand the past Well, can you explain The emergence of Britain Pax Britannica Out of literally nowhere As a ruling state in the world Can you explain other than with Islamic eschatology That this is Dajjal in stage one of his mission To eventually rule the world from Jerusalem And can you explain the mysterious passage from Pax Britannica to Pax Americana And the decline of the universal currency, the sterling pound And its replacement with the US dollar 
dramatically. The US dollar is the new universal currency. Can you explain the United States of America emerging as a successor to Britain as a new ruling state in the world with a mysterious relationship with Israel and the Holy Land? Can you do it other than with eschatology? No, you can't. If you have an explanation, we love to hear it. And now can you explain the reality of the world today? That we are now located on the brink of a pit of nuclear fire? Other than with Prophet Muhammad, Allah's blessings be upon him, and with the Quran? That is how important is this subject. There are those who are comfortable in being, in a, member, being a member of a sectarian movement. I am Brailvi and I am the Obandi, and I am Salafi, and I am this, and I am that, and I am Tablig. Well, we say to such people, well, when we offer general knowledge, by all means, you can come and listen. But the Quran was sent, Likawmi yatafakkarun. The Quran was sent, Likawmi yatafakkarun. It was sent, to a people who not only think, but who think things out. And so when we want to teach, as we're being taught in this gathering here in Britain today, when we want to teach, we want those who would think. Unfortunately, our sectarian brothers allow others to do their thinking for them. But I welcome you to this gathering because you are a people who want to think. And Islamic eschatology is a subject which requires thought. If we are to spend just a few minutes on looking at the critical importance of eschatology for understanding the reality of the moment in which we are located and in anticipating what is to come, I would like to direct attention to the parallel that Britain did not relinquish power for the United States to succeed without a great war. And it was that great war which broke the back of the British pound, the sterling pound. And so the US dollar might be flying high. The US dollar may be commanding its position of strength in its attack on the Russian ruble. And they may be laughing at how the ruble is falling in value and they are laughing that they are bringing Russia to, their, to its knees. But no, not at all. There's someone else who is laughing. And that's Israel around the corner is also laughing. Because Israel knows that if a big war takes place, or what the, the Christians call Armageddon, what the Muslims know of as the Malhama, if the Malhama takes place, if the great nuclear war takes place, Israel knows that that's going to break the back of the US dollar, finish, the monetary system will collapse. I think Russia also knows that which is why Russia is not backing down. If you want war with Russia, we will, wait. we will be prepared to respond with war. We are not afraid. And Russia, I believe, knows that once the war takes place, the monetary system will collapse and goodbye to the US dollar. Israel wants that big war because Israel knows that a post-Malhama world is a world in which Israel has a chance to dominate over mankind. Israel wants to succeed the United States with a Pax Judaica to replace Pax Americana. Why? Because of eschatology, because the false messiah, Dajjal, wants to rule the world from Jerusalem. He can't do that unless he creates and produces an Israel which becomes a ruling state in the world. 
And when Israel becomes a ruling state, the Jal then appears in human form and from Jerusalem declares that he is the Messiah. And when he does that, he says, mission accomplished. I've done my job. I've given them six for a nine. I've deceived them. And then, of course, Nabi Isa Islam will return according to the divine plan. And Imam al-Mahdi will then emerge. Not before. Only then. Only then. And that will be the end of the Jal. And that's goodbye to the imposter state of Israel. What is going to replace Israel in the Holy Land? Well, study eschatology. Study eschatology and you'll know what will replace Israel in the Holy Land. I want to leave you now. All that I've done is to whet your appetite for knowledge. How long is it before the big war takes place? I can hazard a guess. And of course, I can be wrong. But there's no harm in guessing. I was thinking that perhaps maybe another five to ten years. I say that because I don't want anyone to believe it's going to be 500 years from now. Maybe another five to ten years. And most of mankind resident in North America in particular, and in Europe in particular, are going to die. Is it not valuable for us to have some advance warning of some catastrophic event that's going to take so many lives, particularly when our own lives will be in danger? The Salafi can continue with the eternal criticism of your brother Imran Hussein. We're going to move on. Yes, it is important for us to have some advanced knowledge. And this is what eschatology does for us. It allows us to anticipate what is to come. It is possible that Israel does not know when the Great War will take place. And the United States and NATO do not know. And Russia does not know. But Dajjal knows. And uh, Allah can send information to us in the last part of prophethood which now remains in the world but nobody talks about it nobody talks about it they don't even know that there's a single part of prophethood still remaining in the world today yes it is the prophet Islam, said that prophethood is comprised of 46 or 47 parts nothing of which remains in the world after me except one part and that one part is true dreams and true visions and good dreams and good visions. And there are many around us now, many who are now seeing in their dreams and visions that the Great War is around the corner. Maybe a year, maybe two years from now. Is it not time for us to prepare for it? Is it not time for us to devote ourselves to a very careful study of eschatology? My books, which are available to you there, most, many of my books on eschatology are available to, there, to you there in the conference, can assist you in that study. And I pray that Allah may bless your efforts with success. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.